Hey, I'm Maddie. I was on the Affordability Covenants team in the Policy Lab this year. Hi, my name is Arturo. I am originally from Venezuela, and this year I led a team that researched and drafted a memo on Affordability Covenants in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Nick, a second year MPP student. My name is Shrihri. I'm Laura Storrs, um, and I'm a member of the APAC team of the Policy Innovation Lab. Hi, I'm Steven. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and along with Steven, I'm a co-lead for the APAC team. Hello, my name is Mackenzie Loy and I am a first year Masters in Public Policy student and I had the privilege of working with the Policy Innovation Lab this last year. I learned so much from the lab. Um, one of my biggest passions in creating public policy is a community involvement aspect and listening to the people who are actually going to be affected by policy and that's what Policy Lab does. Um, it gave me such a great opportunity to really get involved with the people of DC and understand how policy is really made. This was an incredible experience. I got to learn a lot about affordable housing and issues of urban policy in DC and I got to complement my skills and knowledge gathered at my court with this project. As an international student, it, the lab not only gave me this experience, but also taught me a lot about racial issues in the United States, and in a way, allowed me to think about these issues in my home country and how to address them. This year, my Policy Innovation Lab team had the awesome opportunity to partner with researchers from the Urban Institute to support a project focused on community-led planning which aim to learn about how community and economic development can be designed to be more inclusive and equitable while centering the voices of community members. Through the project, we had the chance to learn about how development is currently impacting neighborhoods east of the Anacostia River, as well as to learn about some of the context and history of communities in DC's Ward 7 and 8. I'm just very excited to get to work with local organizations in the DC area helping them to use human-centered design thinking to develop solutions based on community needs. APAC stands for the Anacostia Park and Community Collaborative, and as the name suggests, focuses on looking at communities along the Anacostia Corridor and making a better and more vibrant Anacostia River watershed for the community and for the greater DC area. Projects this semester included focusing on human-centered design thinking, thinking through a logic model, and other products that we could use to help deepen APAC's commitment to the community. In the last year, as a member of McCourt's Policy Innovation Lab, I've learned the value of community engagement and community voice in developing thoughtful and intentional policy. This is incredibly important to the communities of Ward 7 and 8 in DC as we take their voice and implement it in future policies. The most significant thing I've learned from the lab this year is that individuals rarely have the answer, but communities always do. One thing I've learned in the Policy Innovation Lab is the importance of intentionality and self-reflection in the policymaking process. I've learned that for policymakers to really advocate for the ideals of racial equity and community self-determination, they have to work to incorporate these frameworks in every step of the policy process, routinely examine their assumptions, and periodically check in with themselves to make sure that these goals are still being carried out. Um, I think my favorite part or the biggest takeaway was uh, two things, active listening um, to better engage with the community um, and essentially get better results from quality, qualitative surveys. Um, and the second skill was applying human-centered design uh, to building and crafting policy. I'm eager to see what the future brings. And thank you, McCord Policy Innovation Lab.